Hey guys, Argivantes here with another Prismata game analysis. And today we're going to do something a little bit different. If you notice, this is not one of my replays. This was actually a replay submitted by Aiko on the Prismata subreddit, where he demonstrates a super aggressive Cluster Bolt rush. So Cluster Bolt's a unit that doesn't require any gold to construct, just 4 green, and it builds 5 Gauss charges for you and 2 for your opponents. So if we go through the game, uh, Aiko just ignores everything and masses green. So he's going to stockpile green and unleash a giant volley of Cluster Bolts. His opponent tries to pressure his economy with Rhinos, and he succeeds in killing all of Ico's drones. But uh, the gold doesn't actually matter too much. All that matters is the green. And as we see here, he has 35 green, which is enough for 8 Cluster Bolts. And that's actually enough to wipe out his opponent's entire board, as we see here. And uh, Ico wins the game off of two conduits. So yeah, uh, this is a very strong opening, and it actually beats a lot of Animus openings in general. However, I want to demonstrate that it is actually beatable with just base set. So if we go into analysis mode, the trick to Cluster Bolt is there's only 10 supply. So at most, your opponent will only be able to do 50 points of damage to you. 10 supply, each Cluster Bolt does 5 damage, so 50. If you can survive a total of 50 points of damage, you just win the game because there's no other way for your opponent to kill you. The strategy going into a Cluster Bolt rush is to just mass health. Get as much health as possible. And with base set only, that means you get Steel Splitters, Walls, and Force Fields. So I'm just going to open normally. Uh, my opponent goes Triple Conduit here, and this clearly signals that he's going to go Cluster Bolt. So seeing that uh, rather than going Animus, which just loses, uh, just go for a Blast Torch. And from this point, you can go Steel Splitter, Drone, Conduit. The magic number is one Blast Forge and two Conduits. So as you'll see here, I get my second Conduit, and I'm in good shape from this point on. Uh, I'm just going to buy wall and as many engineers as I can afford. Every single turn. And he cluster bolts. And because I didn't go for the Rhino Rush, my opponent will actually have enough gold to buy a Gauss Cannon, which he does here. But I will be able to defend this volley by leaving a drone back and a mass force fielding as we see here. So my opponent still has two more Cluster Bolts, which he'll use right here. And he'll probably buy an Engineer, because he only has five gold. So he has to finish me off still, which means he'll need to rebuild. And at this point it looks a little bit grim. There's no way for me to actually defend 11, right? This, this is the best I could do. But uh, it's actually not that bad. So I just attack and kill his only form of consistent damage, which is very important. And I just let him breach, really. So he buys a drone, of course. And the thing is, if he kills all my drones, my Steel Splitter will actually just win the game for me. So he has to kill the Steel Splitter, leaving a drone back. And at this point, it's, it looks pretty even. It looks like we can just rebuild. But actually, I just win. And the trick is, I don't actually need to rebuild. I have Cluster Bolts left, and my opponent doesn't. So if I just Cluster Bolt... It looks like a draw situation, but I assure you it's not. We just pass turns a little bit. And once I have enough green, I just cluster bolt once a turn. So the key here is my opponent will be able to kill all my conduits, but there's actually no way for him to kill my Blast Forge. And that's because Cluster Bolt only gives him 2 damage, and it takes 3 damage on a turn to kill a Blast Forge. So I'm completely breach safe, and I just wipe out his conduits. So yeah, that is how you beat the Cluster Bolt Rush. Now, one might say, what if your opponent Cluster Bolts earlier, before you're able to spam so many Engineers? Wouldn't he win then? Well, I actually have just the game to show you that.
This was a game I played against Aether Llama. It was not a ladder game. This was actually a game we played specifically to test out the Cluster Bolt Rush and how to defend it with base set. Because I knew my opponent was going for the Cluster Bolt Rush, I actually don't do the opening that I just showed. Uh, I, I go for a slightly more defensive Blast Forge Conduit, so I get slightly more green. I just go Wall first, uh, Steel Splitter, Engineer Drone. I got my two Conduits and Blast Forge, which is the magic number of tech. And just as I was saying, my opponent goes for an early Cluster Bolt, so on 16, which means he only bought four Cluster Bolts. And I'm able to just barely defend with the Force Fields, but of course my opponent still has six Cluster Bolts, so the game's not over. And uh, from this point on, he's just going to Cluster Bolt twice a turn. And still able to defend. Uh, I make a slight mistake losing a Steel Splitter. Not a big deal, honestly, but I redo it. And... So, still able to defend. And at this point, this is my opponent's last volley of clusters. And we see he does manage the breach, but we're back in the same situation, where I have two Conduits and a Blast Forge, which is more than sufficient to win the game. Alright. So now you say, but wait a minute, you just showed me two openings. If you do the really defensive opening, couldn't your opponent just switch out and do something else? Well, you don't actually have to do the really defensive Blast Forge Conduit opening. I'm going to demonstrate that even with the slightly slower opening I did, you can still defend. So again, this is the Aether game. Uh, let's say I don't go for the early Conduit, right? which pretty easily defends him. Let's say I go for the slightly greedier version right here that I was demonstrating earlier. What if my opponent clusters me then? Will I be able to defend? Uh, attack with Steel Splitter. And the answer is yes, just barely. But uh, he will be able to kill a lot of stuff. So I forced to leave back two drones because he went for such an early cluster bolt, since I didn't get the early conduit. And... I'm in a pretty nasty situation. However, those are his last two cluster bolts, which as we'll see, will be able to wipe out my Blast Forge pretty critically. So how do you win in this situation without the Blast Forge? This looks like a draw, right? This has to be a draw. Turns out it's not. <laughs> uh, as you recall, the way I won the last game was by having the Blast Forge as sort of a damage soak that your opponent wasn't able to kill. Without the Blast Forge, it's still possible. You just need to be a little bit creative. And this is how you do it. So I get as many Cluster Bolts as I need to kill his economy. And he's able to wipe out my conduit, so I'm down to no permanent structures. How do I win? Well, you buy a Cluster Bolt. <laughs> so your opponent will be able to wipe out two of your Gauss charges, but he loses in this position because his board is empty. But my board still has three Gauss charges constructing. So I still win this game, even though I didn't have the Blast Forge. <laughs> so as you see here, even the early Cluster Bolt rush still loses. Because the key is your opponent uses all of his Cluster Bolts without actually killing you, so you're able to respond with your own Cluster Bolts. So yeah, I actually looked through quite a few variations of the Cluster Bolt Rush. I looked at a slower version where you get your Conduit on turn 2, 
I looked at a faster version and all manner of timings for actually starting the cluster bolt volleys. And uh, in all of them, I realized that player one had a route where he could win. There is another build involving Gauss cannons that I think wins, but I didn't investigate that one so much. So I just showed you my Blast Forge plus two conduits counter. That being said, I don't think Cluster Bolt's weak or anything. It's generally a good thing that units can be countered by base set plus the unit itself. If it can't be, then there would be some games where the unit would just dominate. But uh, this is not the case for Cluster Bolt. Cluster Bolt, I think, is best used as sort of a supplement to your damage. So if both of you are attacking for like 12 or 14, and both of you are just barely able to defend, then the player who Cluster Bolts and adds 5 additional damage will just win the game, because it'd be impossible for his opponent to defend on that turn. There's a lot of good single Cluster Bolt timings that doesn't involve just massing conduits and doing a huge volley, and I still think it's a very strong unit. That being said, it can be countered with base sets if you go for the all-out rush. If there's units like Plexo Cell or Shredder or Polywall in the set, it's even easier to counter because they just provide more effective health. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this slightly different replay analysis. I went a bit technical there, a bit more in-depth and less actual gameplay, but the Cluster Bolt thing was a huge topic on the subreddit, so I just wanted to clear up some misconceptions, potentially. Alright, I'll see you guys next week.